Are you a visualizer? Do you um, use like visualizing to kind of, because you know it's like, if they say if you can see it or believe it, then you know it's possible. Do you visualize yourself winning? Because I know I did, I, I always visualize, I come up before I go to bed and I knew it was like strongest when I really wanted to show them one extra. Um, and I was working there behind the scenes, but like at night I would like think about myself behind Behind, on the other side of the desk yeah. but how it would feel you know what would I say what would I you know or see myself you know you've been to the BBC you know you see the posters of um the postcards of all the DJs like yeah, yeah. what would it be like to have my own postcard of me <laughs> and yeah it's weird now obviously these are the things that I do every day there is postcards I mean not that anyone picks them up but they are there <laughs> if anyone wants any they're free. um <laughs> but it, it's it's been such a great aid and I think even like um kind of now thinking about what I want next, it's been exciting to, to visualize again. Do yeah. you visualize? Uh, yeah, I do visualize, but for me, I used to visualize when I was um, younger, I used to visualize myself being, you know, on top of the podium with the gold medal. I used to visualize all that. And then, especially in Beijing, um, in Beijing, where I spoke about, like, I was such a see it, believe it kind of person. And I'd see myself doing all these great things. And then when it didn't happen, it just hurt so much more. Mm. So now what I try to do, um, which I think is more helpful, is visualize me doing the events. Um, so I'll visualize me doing the hurdles like the most perfect way possible. And I think that's easier than when you're in the moment to be like, okay, I've been here before. Yeah. Kind of Instead of vision, visualizing myself on the rostrum, I vision, visualize myself doing the perfect high jump through my own eyes. Yeah, that's wicked. Because then it's like um, it's like kind of that muscle memory almost. It kind of feeds yeah. into that. Yeah, and then also like what I do, um, which I haven't done for a while is um, well I did, but then I took it away. But I'd have the the start line in whichever event I'm going to. So just say it's Tokyo next year, this year. Um, I'd have what the start line looks like. So when I'm standing at the start line at my most nervous, um, I can see what I'll be seeing and. When I'm there, then it's just, it feels so much more familiar to me. Do you have it in your training? Um, no, on my phone, sorry. On oh, my on phone, your phone. screensaver. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. instead of um, it, where it used to be like the what the medal would look like, I just have what the track would look like. So what I'd be looking like, what I'd be looking down when I am on the start line. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> and I like the fact that you flipped it. So it's less about the result, but more about it. You've made it about, it's about you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's about yeah. you in that moment um, but that's really cool I like, I like the idea of having I've, you know as you get older it's kind of like you do move away from the things that the imagination that your younger self has and actually I think it yeah like I, I was going through my old iPad yesterday I just charged it up because I thought I didn't want to read in, on my phone anymore so I thought I'd read on the iPad and um, I found all my mood boards okay there's so many <laughs> mood boards they just go on and on it's like I had that iPad when I was like, yeah, 20, 21, 22. It literally is just all mood boards or, or screenshots or pictures for mood boards. But it was like a plane, a studio, you know, okay. a festival. Oh, it's <laughs> it was, all come yeah. true. Yeah, it has. It has, but it was funny to look back. I was like, oh, it's still going. Oh, God. <laughs> um, what's the best bit of advice that another athlete has given to you? Because obviously part of me wanting to speak to you is that I feel like, you know, yeah, I, I, I think there's so many, so, so much so much of what athletes do, how they think um, and the, the, the dedication to their craft can be applied to, to literally anything in your life. So what's the best advice that an athlete has given you? Um, the best advice, best advice I've got given actually is from my training partner um, in France and he was just talking about himself and he, when he got his, his big score, one of his best personal best scores, he um, got most of the, the events on the third jump. So in long jump, in high jump, shot ball, in the throws and the jumps, you have three attempts normally um, and three attempts at each height in the, the vertical jumps. And most of the times that he's done a PB, all of his best scores come on the third attempt. Whereas sometimes, I fall into the trap of if I do two things and they're both bad I'll be like well this is me for the day then this is clearly the level I'm at today and I always sort of wasted the third attempt so I yeah think, you've given up slightly I guess yeah yeah, yeah so I know that feeling <laughs> yeah so it's one of those the best things he said to me was like well the, he didn't give me advice but he told me that story of his being on the third attempt 
so I think in in Doha my my shot put was on the third attempt and I did remember that like just because I've thrown twice at this this same distance doesn't mean that it's not possible for me to throw again right now and get a personal best and I think yeah I just never give up on that third attempt yeah you go perfect and I guess one last question um would be you know you mentioned people perceive you to be so disciplined and like have all this willpower but when you haven't got a goal you kind of you know you have to kind of really get yourself into it but sort of in your general life does like being an athlete kind of um does it like I don't know when you're decorating are you going to go ham on the decorating or have you got something in mind are you just going to like get it done (laughs) no no not at all I think um yeah, being an athlete, people expect you to be super competitive. Yeah, I thought you were, I thought you were super. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I think I'm I'm different. Like I'm one of these people where when I leave the track, I do actually need to turn off. I do need to talk about something else, or you know, relax my brain and not have athletics all the time. And I think I um I do apply um my athletics to my normal life sometimes. Like I think I'm very competitive. Say. Like on Mario Kart, like I'll throw the <laughs> I'll throw the controls. I won't speak to you for like a day because I'm so annoyed. <laughs> but like if it's like Uno, I don't care about that. Like, do you know what I mean? So it's not it doesn't follow through. Picture but sometimes that's what you've <laughs> yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. But um, yeah, that's just me. If I care about something, then I'm super competitive. If not, you can win. Let them win. <laughs> yeah, I I feel that as well. That's kind of how I am. Like me and my partner, like. If I want to win, I will, and I will. <laughs> I will watch you like with Monopoly. We've been playing Monopoly for years now, and we always do it when we go away with each other. And I couldn't believe you were so good. I was like, "How is yeah. that? What a nerd! What a nerd to be so good at Monopoly!" But I've been watching him over the years, it's and just to put it out there: the last holiday, I beat him five times in a row. <laughs> that's 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 not luck. That that is. That's not luck. Yes. Yeah. 